Yo, my prospect family, man, it's your boy Dev, and I'm back at you with another prospect video, man. And today's prospect video is gonna be for Thursday Night Football. We have the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Carolina Panthers. <clears throat> this is basically a rematch game, guys. And if those who seen this game, I believe a couple weeks ago, it was a shootout. They had a shootout first time with uh, Walker playing at quarterback. He absolutely showed out. But as you guys know, last game, Walker was pulled out the game. They uh, made the announcement the other day that he will still be the starter, but Baker Mayfield took over that game last game. So um, he's another one on today's slate that um, I'm kind of iffy about even playing. They have him listed at 165 yards passing, but it's kind of uh, iffy when he got took out last game and only threw for like 10 passes for like nine yards, I believe. I can look, look at that again, but he's another one I'm kind of iffy about. But we absolutely did a, a terrific job last week. I mean, yeah, last week for uh, NFL games. Uh, we had a lot of uh, um, wins. So for everybody who, you know, enjoyed that, had a, a good experience with that, thank you for uh, taking some of the picks we had. Also for a Monday night game, um, just a little recap on that. I, I, I did well. A lot of people did well just depending on how you did your mid match. But uh, the receivers for Monday night game kind of was like, ugh. Like, it wasn't that many, like, absolutely great targets, if you want to get what I mean. Like, I can just give an example from based on what that was. But it wasn't, like, terrific. I know uh, I cashed out on a few, but it could have been better. You feel what I'm saying? The ball was, like, for, I can at least say for the Ravens, it was a lot of passes that Lamar kind of, you know, skipped up on a little bit, but we're not going to fault him for that. But, uh, like, uh, Devin Duvier, he, uh, he only had one catch for five yards, and I that was surprising for me. I think he was targeted, like, three times. Only had one for those. Isaiah Likely, also another one. He had one catch for 24 yards, um, one touchdown, but... Like I said, with that as well, um, a couple passes that was just overthrown or dropped as well. Then we have, but Isaiah likely covered, so my bad. Isaiah likely covered. They had him listed for 20 reception yards. He had 24, so that was good. He covered. Kendra Drake, uh, he rushed for 13 yards in the first half. What they, I, this first half plays, I'm sorry. This first half plays, so I played first half plays as well. But he rushed for 13 yards in the first half. They had him listed at 22. Same for Alvin Kamara. Um, I played a lot of first half plays, guys, so you can't really pick on those. But for the most part, guys, it was a wishy-washy game. But we had a lot of people made. Uh, Kendra Drake even uh, ended up making a, his slate for the full game. He had 90, 93 rushing yards, and they had him listed for 44. Lamar had killed it on his rushing yards. Lamar failed to uh, throw the 210 yards, which he would have easily had if some of those passes was completed and not overthrown or dropped. So he would have easily got that. So we can't really fault um, prize pick on that that score because it was there. The attempts was there, but just couldn't capitalize off of them. But, guys, so that's enough of that. Talking about that, we're going to get into this Thursday night football game against the Atlanta Falcons and the Panthers. So guys, let me get you where I'm at right here. Get on the same page with me. I feel like we can absolutely make some cash from this, guys. I feel like we can capitalize off of this um, Thursday night game, and we can make some bread. So Patterson, uh, Atlanta's running back, basically the heart of Atlanta, uh, he is back. And last game, he absolutely showed his tail, I believe. So let me give you all a little feedback off of that. He absolutely showed his tail last game. No, he did not. I lied. Oh, he he did good for the first half. I'm sorry. I played first half. Got to keep remembering that. Last game, he had uh, 44 yards rushing. This was, I believe, his first game back. But um, they have him listed for 49, 49 rushing yards. I'm going to take it because um, he is Atlanta's running back. He's their dominant running back. Probably just because it was the first game back, they probably limited him to some touches. They didn't really look too much into it. But he's averaging over 76 yards per game ever since he, um, before the injury. So now uh, he's back. 
he looking dominant, man. He ran somebody flat over the other day. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. He ran somebody flat over the other day, um, I believe, right in the damn end zone. But uh, they have him listed for 49 rushing yards. Uh, you can, you know, never say take that if you want, but I'm taking it as well on that one. I feel like, hey, you might as well get it. You might as well take it. And then they don't have uh, any rushing yard. They don't even have any rushing for uh, Carolina, so we couldn't even choose from that. Even though they had, they got a decent running back as well that uh, took over for uh, McCaffrey. I don't know what's going on with that one, but another one we have on here that we're like um, we gonna pay some attention to is DJ Moore. Last game they played uh, Atlanta, DJ Moore had an absolutely beast game. He uh, had a total of 152 uh, reception yards uh, with that big catch at the end. Um, I feel like there's gonna be some tension for this game, man. Um, just for the simple fact they went head to head and it ended the way that it ended. So I kind of see them um, having that same uh, kind of reaction towards that. Uh, they have them listed at 57.5 reception yards. Uh, we're going to take that as well for this game because I feel like that is kind of too low for the tension that's here. He hit this three times over the last five games. Uh, he fell short last game against uh, the Bengals. He had 24 yards and also against L.A. with seven yards. And that could uh, that last game could take more to effect of the switching of the quarterbacks. So I wouldn't you know too much worry about that. 57 yards is too low for the performance that he can he can make another one on my list is drake drake london he's one of the uh you know i'll say eye candy for atlanta uh atlanta been having trouble passing the ball man so this slate is kind of really iffy like if i had to just to make something i would pick him and put him up on my slate last game against uh the panthers he had only 31 yards he only hit this once out of the last five so you can take this with a grain of salt, but um, he gets targets. It just, um, Atlanta can't kind of pass the ball that good. I'm just gonna be honest. But this is another rematch game, so I'm pretty sure that they um, did a little studying and a little a little dip and dap. So he may can come out and make this 38 yards rushing. I mean, not rushing, but reception. I took him, I'm gonna mix him up <clears throat> with a couple of lineups. <clears throat> Never know, don't wanna miss out on the opportunity. Then we also have Marshall from the Carolina Panthers. They have him listed at 30 uh, reception yards. And I believe he's been getting over this in the last, I believe, and I'm not mistaken, all the games. Let me see. Do, 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 do. He has hit this three times over the last five games. Against LA, he had zero. It don't even show nothing on here, so I'm assuming he, that he didn't play. Uh, and ever since after that LA game uh, against Tampa Bay, 31, against Atlanta, 87, against the Bengals, 53. So 30 is uh, a little too low for me. So we're going to take that as well. That's a play that we're going to put into our lineup. Like I said, with uh, Walker, it's kind of iffy. He got pulled out the game. So it's really uh, Marcus Mariota. Uh, he's another iffy quarterback as well. This is a whole iffy game, guys. Usually they say don't bet on two boo-boo teams, but I'm betting against these two boo-boo teams because these two boo-boo teams had an absolutely field day against each other last time. So like I said, the only time he hit this over on this for the 158 yards was against the Carolina Panthers. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be another good game, guys. So I'm gonna take him for those 50, 158 points. I mean, 58 uh, passing yards just because the atmosphere of the game and just because we're going to throw a little pocket change in this. So if you guys feel a little comfortable about these plays, you guys feel that you uh, want to play these plays and you want me to rank these, I'll rank these. I'll take... Um, da -da 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 -da. I'll take DJ. I'll take Marshall. I'll take Marshall at the 31. The 31 reception yards is number one. DJ is number two. Uh, Patterson is number three. Um, Drake is number four. Marcus Mariota is number five. So you guys can play with these how you guys want to play with these. But guys, to all the new subscribers, I thank y'all for subscribing. For all the people that's looking at this video right now, there's no reason why you shouldn't be not subscribed, man. We give y'all all the plays. We give y'all a handful of plays. You can go check out our last video, see how many plays that we hit on, see how many plays that we gave out. We got a, a lot of plays coming up for this next video for the Sunday night uh, early look. 
just for the players that they have on here. We're gonna do another video as well once these all the players arrive on here. So I know they put on receptions and everything then, but right now we're just looking at passing yards, rushing yards, and uh, reception yards, but we're not seeing targets and all the other stuff like that. So I have almost, I have like, I have almost like 20, 20 plays we're gonna go over for this next video. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these picks. Let me know how y'all feel about this Thursday night game. If y'all believe it's gonna suck, hey, just say it's gonna suck. But I think it's gonna suck too. But I think it's gonna be a good one for us in these pockets. So you can choose to play with these how you want to play with these. Like I say, I'm not a professional. This is my personal opinion off the data that I gather. Um, if you're not subscribed, man, go ahead and subscribe. Join the family, man. We're making bread over here. You can go look at our videos and check that out as well. Um, we're going to have a good week this week, guys. So thank y'all for watching. Cash out. Check out the next video. Stay tuned. We're gone.